did you not, did you not one time 1v1 me and then I did it for like two two minutes and I kind of like shout on you unfortunately <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the f Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we have some more unfortunate news in regards to Apex Legends. Now, we all know that there have been a ton of bugs and glitches in the game, but it appears that EA has doubled down and let go even more of the people responsible for actually making sure the game runs in a good state. We're gonna go over what exactly EA's plan is and how this is probably gonna impact the future of the game. We're also gonna go ahead and give out the Cobalt Heirloom Guitar. All you guys gotta do is like, comment, subscribe, and you're entered for a chance to win. But without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. So it's been pretty difficult to be positive about Apex Legends the last couple of weeks. I want to be because season 20 brought in the new perk system, which I thought was really fun. The LTMs have been absolutely fantastic. And it looks like we have stuff like Apex Cups coming in in season 21, along with a bunch of brand new game modes. However, unfortunately, there was just a new report out the other day. And according to Insider Gaming, there have been another round of layoffs, this time with the Apex Legends United Kingdom QA office, which are the people that play test the game to make sure that it doesn't break. Now you might be like, well, that's not a big deal. The game's breaking all the time anyways. They probably weren't doing their job. Well, this comes exactly one year after EA laid off 200 Apex Legends testers over a Zoom call, and that was at the Baton Rouge office. And since that happened, the game has been breaking on a pretty constant level. You can actually just go ahead and Google search it. There's the update breaks the game so hard that players lose hundreds of account levels. We messed up on the account levels again. And then even in season 19, the Ignite update broke the anti-cheat on Steam Deck and Linux. I mean, there's just an endless amount of things. And this isn't just EA laying off the QA teams, which is a huge issue, especially in a game that runs on this kind of engine that constantly has issues. They have been doing respawn layoffs as well, which is kind of surprising. It was mostly the narrated team from what they said, but we didn't get a full list of all the people that were impacted. But it does show that Respawn is no longer invincible, at least in the eyes of EA, and that they will be getting cut down if they don't do that well, which also really shouldn't be that surprising. Apex Mobile was a game that lasted exactly one year that lived off the Apex Legends brand name, and EA decided after a year that it just wasn't worth it and cut the entire thing. Meaning that if you spend any money on it, well, too bad, it's gone. And this is gonna be a pretty tumultuous issue that Respawn and Apex Legends has to deal with because it's very apparent that EA is now taking a 100% hands-on approach to this game. Andrew Wilson has done more quotes and interviews with stockholders and investors than I think I've ever seen in the last couple of years because he's really trying to sell it as EA's main IP going along with a couple of other ones. He's talked about comparing it to their streaming services. It's global and it's deeply engaged and they wanna make the game more accessible to people, which is an absolutely fantastic thing, but they are kind of losing the core component of what made Apex Legends Apex Legends. For instance, there is a summer cup happening in the Middle East called In Redaya, which is in the summer of 2024. Apex Legends is officially listed. Now, I'm not gonna get into my personal beliefs on this, but I will say, that for a company such as Respawn that made the statement of saying, we wanted to include characters with all different kinds of lives and identities to show the breadth of human experiences we see it today and our hopes for how people of all different stripes will be seen in the future, to then host a tournament in a country that actively will kill people if they are of a different lifestyle choice is a bit of a contradiction. Once again, not gonna get into the deep lines of it, but it definitely shows that Respawn has an ideology with how they want their game to be perceived by the masses, and EA might be going in a different direction and actually overrode Respawn's choice in having the tournament played here so that they could get more exposure and make it more accessible. As Andrew Wilson said, he wanted to be seen on a global scale. Once again, not gonna get into the politics of what your personal beliefs are. I actually really don't care. You can believe whatever you wanna believe. I'm just a guy who covers video game news, but it is very apparent that what Respawn and EA want are completely different things. And the devs at Respawn have talked about how the game is going to keep growing and keep evolving and changing. It won't be the same as Apex in five years. And that's a quote from Mike Renner, a game design director, but they're mostly talking about how they're gonna solve issues and compete with competitors and gameplay modes. Well, EA is looking at the long-term investment and how they can go ahead and get as much money as possible. I mean, that also really shouldn't be a surprise when you look at the Cobalt Guitar Heirloom with the $700 customizable features that will be coming in the near future, along with the next five that will be coming, and the fact that they backtracked on the Iron Crown event where they said that the only way to get what many consider to be the coolest skins were Apex Packs and they broke their promise. Well, that's exactly how this new event works in Shadow Society. It's all about what kind of money you're willing to spend on a random chance of getting the skin you want. It's clear that the Respawn team has lost more and more control over the product of Apex Legends, and EA has very slowly actually taken over a lot of the majority of the decisions. And that means 
with those layoffs, we're going to continue to see issues like all the rank stats being gone, such as his Watson pointing out that MG Clutch, who was the number one Apex Predator on Xbox, who didn't cheat, who played 45 days straight to finish with that rank. Well, he actually only gets the master badge because the game is broken right now. There's the new Mischief Medic skin that was supposed to release in the store the other week. Apparently, it's now just attached if you have the original Mischief Medic and it has a, like a weird combination effect. You might have that unlocked just in case you've noticed. You know, not to mention the whole breakout challenges that were broken. They said that they fixed it. A lot of people are saying it's working for them now, but you might still be having issues where it doesn't because they are reinvestigating it because they weren't able to fix it 100%. I mean, on the plus side of all this crazy stuff going on, maybe we'll continue to get free Apex packs like the eight they gave us the other day. But I don't really know if that is the solution to make the player base happy when you had such a promising season and it has just been absolutely hit again and again by these crazy things that I don't see in any other AAA game. And if you do think that Respawn and Apex Legends are safe no matter what, that it is the golden child of EA, that was once true for the same franchise known as Battlefield, and you can even see EA shutting down Ridgeline games that were working on a single player Battlefield campaign. Respawn and Apex Legends are no more important to EA than the money that they bring in that they can then show their investors that they are turning a profit. Once that changes, this game is as expendable as any other studio that EA has shut down, and that becomes kind of a scary reality. Let me know down below, what are your guys' thoughts on the state of Apex Legends and what EA is doing to the franchise right now? Do you think that they are going to milk it dry and completely leave a carcass down below with nothing really to look forward to in the future? Also, don't forget to check out this channel right here where I cover information on video games like the finals, Helldivers 2, and Power World. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands. I'll see you out there.